Hey guys, welcome to another tabletop review with your host, a Texan camper. Just showing off some more of my video gear that I use for my filmmaking, and I wanted to present to you what I use as a light source in most of my videos, especially when I'm outdoors at nighttime and whatnot. I even use this for mostly photography too because it's a continuous light source without having to use a flash. It's just something that I prefer to use. But uh, this is from a company called Godox. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct. G-O-D-O-X, Godox. This is the LED 64, which roughly means there's 64 individual LEDs, which probably produces around 200 to 250 lumens, if I'm not mistaken. I could be, but double check me on that. I'll leave a description in the bottom there for you to check it out. But I picked this guy up um, not too long ago for, I think, about 20 bucks or so. And I've been using it for, you know, not too long, so this is really just a kind of a preview, and so far I've been liking it. Uh, basically what this is, it's a uh, light source, 250 lumens, 64 LEDs, that you could attach to a tripod, which you can see the uh, 3 8 inch thread hole there, so you can mount it to a tripod. Or you can mount it to your camera if you have a hot shoot. You just basically unscrew that there, you can see. And you can mount that to your camera in the same spot you would probably put your uh, boom mic or something like that. This is all plastic, so you have to be careful. It's not metal, but it seems pretty solid so far. I use this on my Canon camera when I'm trying to get some extra light. But yeah, or I can put it on my tripod as for some indirect light from a different direction if I'm taking photographs or doing some video work. On the back of this unit, this takes double A batteries. You have a locking mechanism to open up the battery compartment. You can see there it takes four double A batteries. Then this holds it down and locks it in place there. I don't have it, but it looks like they have a DC 5 volt adapter you can probably purchase or find for a continuous power supply if you don't want to use batteries. But the batteries make this obviously portable. You have the obvious on and off switch here. And then you have your rotary dial to increase and decrease light intensity. Here it is turned on. I believe it's equivalent to sunlight settings. I have it at full intensity, then of course I lower it down. Can't really tell too much I'm during the day here making a video, but you get the idea. And I want to say it's about 200 plus lumens of good output intensity from these 64 LEDs. Let me turn that off at the camera adjust. Um, one thing you can do with these, let's say you bought this as an individual, piece you have these slots and these grooves you can see there at the top you can actually add more of these you can put another one here on the side to give yourself more light intensity to maybe add 128 LEDs you can put another one here and here and you can reconfigure these and just add multiple units and attach them to themselves so this has got a lot a pretty good upgradable platform to it so that's a nice little feature there um, I probably won't do that because this is a pretty pretty sufficient bright light um, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, four AA batteries, or you can use the DC power supply like I mentioned. Like I showed you, you've got the dimmer here on the side. It's a pretty good plastic that's made out of. Um, it seems pretty solid. But I just wanted to show you this, what I use for my light sources when I'm recording at nighttime or taking photography or whatnot. I need a little extra light without having to mess with the flash and all that. And I put this on top of my Canon hot shoot, which is on my Canon SX50HS unit which I primarily use for my video recording if I'm not using my 4K phony uh, iPhone. So that's it pretty much in a nutshell. Uh, thanks for clicking the video and watching this review. Hopefully this helps you make a decision. I love this light. I'm going to be using it quite a bit. I may buy more to attach on the side. I don't know yet. I just like the option of doing that. Especially if I want to add more to it. I don't have to get adapters and all that. You just screw it into the side. Like I said I can add three of them to this and make a really cool light configuration. But yeah this is the Godex. LED 64, shown to you here by the Texan Camper. Thanks for watching, guys. Till we meet again.